Hello and welcome to the 50th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at overloading operator. Operator overloading provides you with the functionality to basically override def the default functionality of a operator or I should say add additional functionality aka you can't add two class objects together by default but by overloading an operator such as the addition operator you can and you can specify what you want to happen uh, even though you may put a plus sign or try and add two objects together the functionality that you implement may be something totally unrelated to addition but again that's totally up to you recommended that you try and keep it consistent but again totally up to you I'm just going to show you how to implement operator overloading so let's go ahead and open up our project and what we're going to do is let's create a class the class vehicle and I'm going to create two constructors one is going to be the default one and one is going to be the overloaded one so int b temp int h temp I'm going to do int speed int age so now what we're going to do is just implement our constructor so the default one will just set the speed by itself and the, and the age to a default value so speed will equal 60 and age will equal 1 probably won't be in the default constructor but implement it anyway and it's good practice to implement it and so let's see what we got we need to just get these variable names into here and in here we're simply going to do speed equals speed temp age equals age temp and now what we're going to do actually before we actually overload an operator we'll just show you what happens when we're trying to add two objects together so we're going to create an object called vehicle bmw with the value 560 Going to create a novel. Sorry about that. Just a little email notification. BMW two, and this will have the value. I'm going to put four and ten. Now what we're going to do is create a new vehicle, and we're going to do it's going to be called Super BMW, and the, we're going to assign this the value BMW plus BMW two. And now if we were to run this, we get build failed, invalid operands to binary expression vehicle. And we can basically, the compiler doesn't know how to add these two objects together because at the end of the day, we're creating our own custom classes. We're not just providing two numbers. It doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to do it or what we want. So we have to overload an operator. So every time you want to use an operator, like here, plus division, so what have you you have to overload it but this tutorial will serve as a good basis for actually how to overload an operator so to overload an operator you put the name of your class or so vehicle you put the keyword operator then you put the operator that you want to overload so plus and then in here you do const the name of your vehicle, I mean name of your class and then you just assign a name to this so I'm just going to put parameter this can be whatever you want and now what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this and implement it yeah. birthday notification on lower the different devices uh, so we're going to do vehicle and as you can see it returns a vehicle object so we've got to do vehicle operator and we're just simply going to in here do vehicle temp and what we'll do is temp dot speed equals speed plus parameter dot speed temp dot age equals age plus parameter dot age and simply we're going to return temp so what we do is temp is the 
object passed in and the we get the speed and the age values from the original object and so basically we add these two together here into a temporary view call object which is return and now as you can see if we run this it works it succeeds so let's just print the value this so see out super bmw dot speed std and line should be low case e and we're just gonna change speed to age after we copy and paste it and now if we run this we should get a value of 504 because it's added 504 and 7 is added 60 and 10. As I said you can easily manipulate this I mean modify it to support other operator overloading so divide minus and what have you you can get a full list of operators that can be overloaded if you just simply google this it's as simple as that that's it for this part of this series in the next part we'll be looking at the this keyword if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.